You could argue that Agouti is the most influential color group to the history of the domestic rabbit and subsequently show rabbits. Agouti, more specifically chestnut, is the natural color of the European rabbit, the wild rabbit species which gave rise to domestic rabbits we know today. Agouti is also known as the wild type because it's the base genome in wild rabbits. All colors we know today in our show rabbits stem from mutations of agouti in European rabbits. It's no wonder it's widely acceptable to say that agouti is the most dominant color allele in rabbit coat color genetics. Thanks to centuries of breeding selection and observation, color genetics are greatly understood even in rabbits. Color genetics are a much more complex discussion. Today, let's focus on what agouti looks like and what ARBA breeds accept in agouti colors. Agouti varieties have captured the attention of rabbit fanciers since, well, the very start, and it's no wonder why. Agouti colors are unique to themselves with a banded hair shaft. Banded like a hair tie? Not at all. Blow into the fur of an agouti rabbit coat and the fun begins. An agouti coat has at least three bands of color. In breeds where color weighs heavily in judging, like the chinchilla breeds, five bands are clearly described in the breed standard. The best way to check out these intricate bands is to blow into the fur over the back and the sides. You've probably seen lots of ARBA judges doing this. Regardless of what breed, a goodie always has an undercolor, which is usually slate blue. The undercolor is followed by an intermediate band of a lighter shade. In chinchillas, for example, the intermediate band is pearl. If you were to measure the undercolor band, it should nearly measure equal in width to the intermediate band. After these two foundation bands, two thinner bands of the same contrasting colors are found, topped off with an interspersing of contrasting guard hairs to form the surface. What's very critical to all agouti varieties is clear and distinct contrast between the bands. Some good adjectives to use while describing proper agouti color might include crisp, clear, and clean banding. Even in angoras, it is very possible to appreciate these beautiful bands of color. Helpful tips in describing color faults include muddy or indistinct bands, bands that are too narrow or too wide, light undercolor, and dark or light surface color. No wonder breeders devote a lifetime to perfecting these varieties. They're so challenging. Agouti doesn't just stop at the banded hair shaft, though. Some other attributes to agouti colored rabbits include light colored eye circles, nostrils, ear lacing, jaw lines, nape of the neck, under the tail, and belly. Speaking of the belly, while the surface color of the belly is white, the undercolor of the belly is likely darker, such as slate, just like the color over the back. Pay close attention to each breed standard because some breeds disqualify for wrong undercolor. What have we been saying? Owning a copy of the latest ARBA standard of perfection is a must if you're serious about raising, showing, and judging rabbits. 23 of ARBA's 49 breeds have at least one recognized agouti color. American, Giant, and Standard Chinchillas are comprised solely of a single agouti variety. Some breeds are stronger than others in the amount of agouti colors crossing the tables, such as French and Mini Lops, as well as Netherland Dwarfs and Mini Rex. Speaking of Lops, the Lop Color Guide, which outlines the acceptable colors for the English, French, and Mini Lop, recognize more agouti varieties than any other breed, with a total of 10. English, French, and Satin Angoras are a close second. Chestnut, chinchilla, lynx, and opal are some of the most popular agouti colors in ARBA breeds, but sub-varieties of some of these colors exist as well. Again, a nod to the English, French, and mini lops. These breeds accept not only chinchilla, but blue, chocolate, lilac, sable, and smoked pearl chinchilla as well. Have I lost you yet? Brace yourselves, because chestnut in ARBA breeds gets a little more complex when it bears different names for the same genetic variety of chestnut. Ever hear of Castor Mini Rex, Sandy Flemish Giants, Grey Dutch, Copper Mini Satins, or Brown Silvers? You guessed it. These are all different names for chestnut. Why the different names? Well, let's just say that remains one of the most debated topics to date. To learn more about agouti varieties, nothing compares to experiencing them in person. At your next show, make it a point to check out some of these varieties and ask their devoted breeders for a little of their insight and closer look at the banded hair shaft of the agouti.